Today we're going to learn how to time a Bendix S1200 Magneto onto a Baron airplane. One safety procedure we have to observe while conducting this procedure is not to walk within the prop arc. This engine has two magnetos, but today we'll be timing the left magneto. Here is the left magneto. Next we shall prepare the engine to fire on cylinder number one. That happens by finding compression stroke on the first cylinder. Therefore, we remove the spark plug from the cylinder number one and move the propeller until you feel it blowing against your thumb. Then you know you found the compression stroke. We have just found compression in cylinder one. So now we're ready to find the correct crankshaft position for timing the magneto. Use it, to do that, we will use this timing can and mount it to the cone of this engine. We use this rag to protect the metal surface of the nose cone. Now it is time to duct tape the snot out of this timing can because it is very important that it does not move. I think it's good. The first step in finding the correct timing position is installing this piston plug into the spark plug hole. The purpose of this piston plug is to have a reference for where the piston is so that we can find top dead center and therefore find the correct degrees before top center for this cylinder to fire. For this particular engine, it is 20 degrees before top center. But you can find the correct timing for your engine by looking it up in the appropriate maintenance manual. Now that we have the piston plug installed, we simply rotate the propeller in the direction of rotation until the piston lightly contacts the plug. There it has lightly contacted the piston, so we need to set this timing disc to zero. With the timing disc set at zero, rotate the propeller in the opposite direction of rotation all the way around until it contacts the piston plug again. Here it has contacted again, and we read the number. Here it says 78. Since we're at 78, we need to take half of that to find our position for top dead center. So we are going to set this to 39 very accurately and then remove the piston plug. After we remove the piston plug, we will rotate the propeller back through until it is at zero on the timing disc. This is top dead center of the compression stroke. For this engine, we said it was 20 degrees before top center is the ignition timing. So we need to rotate it back and then bring it forward because we always need to move in the direction of rotation when we are setting the timing point so that we remove any gear lash. So I rotate it in the direction of rotation to 20 degrees before top center. When I get really close, I will bump the propeller so I can get it as accurate as possible. OK, 
Now the engine is in the position to fire in cylinder number one. This magneto has already been prepared with its internal timing. So now it is ready to be installed in the aircraft. On slick magnetos, we have a timing pin in the distributor gear to make sure the distributor is set for installation. For this Bendix 1200, we need to set the painted tooth of the distributor gear in the window here. Now it is ready to be installed into the engine. Simply align it with the hole and move it as necessary to mesh with the gear inside. Trying not to rotate it. And this is the fun part. There we go, finally got it in there. Now we need to set this magneto to the proper timing so that the points are just opening inside. So now it's time to use our timing light by putting the green and black to ground and the red on the P lead. The timing light will sound when the points are just barely opening and that's the position we want this to be set in. So I'm rotating it in the proper direction according to the data plate this is a right rotating magneto which means the gear rotates right when looking from the drive end. So I need to rotate from your view this magneto this way so that the gear in the drive is turning right. This is the position we want. Now it is in the proper time position. We need to secure it at this point. We have just checked the timing on the engine of the magneto and it was correct so we tightened it down. Now we need to check the timing overall of this whole engine to see if it is correct. So it is timing time once again. With the timing light still installed, we need to rotate the propeller in the opposite direction of rotation so that we don't have any gear lash and we get as accurate of a measurement as possible. Now we start tapping it forward gently in the direction of rotation to bring it up and see when the timing light sounds. If we did everything correctly and accurately, the timing light will sound at exactly 20 degrees before top center. And let's see how we did. It is exact at 20 degrees before top center. This engine has been timed correctly. Well, that's it. We have successfully timed this magneto to the engine and it's ready to go once we reinstall the spark plug to the proper torque and the ignition wires and put the cowling back on the engine. Then we'll be ready to fly.